Hello friends, this video on circles part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 5. Let's take a more example. Two concentric circles of radius 5 and 3 centimeters. Find the length of the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle. So let's draw two circles of radius 3 and 5. And then let's draw a chord, the line which is chord to this bigger circle but also touches the smaller circle, right? It touches the smaller circle. So let's draw this line. This line is nothing but a chord to the bigger circle. This is bigger circle C2 and this is smaller circle C2. Now we have to find the length of this chord. For example, this is let's suppose AB, this point is A, this point is B. We have to find the length of the chord. So what we can do? We know this is the center. So from this center, we are drawing this lines. Why? Because we know the length of this line, this is the radius of the C1 circle and we know this length of this line, this is the radius of the C2 circle. And also we know that this is perpendicular. Why? Because we told that this chord AB touches this circle C1 at a point. Since a line that touches the circle at one point is tangent, so we can say that AB is tangent to circle C1. AB is tangent to C1 circle. Since AB is tangent to circle C1, this guy is 90 degree. This is nothing but radius of the first circle that is 3 cm and this guy is nothing but radius of the second circle that is 5 cm and this guy is also 5 cm. This let's suppose is 4. So I have this 3, this is 5, I can find AC. Similarly, I can find BC also. Correct? So let me find AC. AC is nothing but root of OA square minus OC square. Correct? And that is nothing but root of 5 square minus 3 square. That is nothing but 25 minus 9. That is root of 60 and that is nothing but 4. Similarly, let us find CB. CB is also nothing but root of OB square minus OC square. And this is nothing but root of 5 square minus 3 square and this comes out to be 25 minus 9 that is root 16 and that is 4. So I got AC is equal to 4 and CB is equal to 4. So to find AB, AB is nothing but AC plus CB and that is nothing but 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 centimeter and that is my answer. What I have done? I have drawn these concentric circles. I drew a line AB such that AB is the chord to bigger circle C2 and it is tangent to smaller circle C. Since it is tangent, this OCA is 90 degree and we can use Pythagoras theorem to find the answer. A quadrilateral ABCD is drawn to circumcide circle. We have to prove that AB plus CD is equal to AD plus C. The first thing that comes to our mind looking at this question is this lens are equal. Right from a given point D, for example, if you have two tangent, they are tangent. Why they are tangent? Because they are meeting the circle at one point. So this length will be equal to this length, this length will be equal to this length, this will be equal to this, this will be equal to this. So let's do this. Let's suppose this length is A. So this length will also be A. If this length is B, A is from here to here. If this length is B, this length is also B. If this length is C, this length is also C. If this length is D, this length is also D. Correct? That is the first thing that comes to our mind. So we have to prove AB plus CD is equal to AD plus B. So let's take LHS first. AB plus C. What is the value of AB? AB is nothing but D plus C. D plus C plus CD. This is CD. That is A plus B plus A plus B. That is A plus B plus C plus D. This is the value of LHS. If you talk about RHS, RHS is nothing but AD plus BC. AD plus BC. What is the value of AD? AD is D plus A. 
D plus A. What is the value of BC? C plus B. C plus. So this becomes A plus B plus C plus D. Correct. So both are same. Both are same. You see, LHS is equal to RHS. Thus we have proved that AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC. Very simple. The moment you talk about tangent, sides are equal. You just write the sides, get the answer. The question says xy and x dash y are two parallel tangents to a circle with center O. That is, this is the circle, this is one tangent and this is one tangent, and they are parallel. This is one more tangent, this is one more tangent with C as point of contact. We have to prove that AOB is 90 degree. AOB is 90 degree. See, the first thing that comes to us is since it is an angle thing. The first thing we know is since it is a tangent, this is 90, this is 90. Correct? That is the first thing that comes to our mind. Plus, since this is a tangent, this angle, this sides are equal, that is Py is equal to AC and this angle is also equal. So let this be x and x. Correct? This we have seen from point A if you are drawing two tangents, these angles are equal. Also from B if you are drawing two tangents, BQ and BC, these angles are equal. So this is Y and this is also Y. Correct? This is something which we know that these angles P and Q are 90 degree and also P, Y, O and O, Y, C are equal. Also C, B, O and O, B, Q are equal. Why they are equal? Because these lengths are equal and we can prove that using uh, similar triangles they are similar actually. These two triangles are similar. So these angles are similar. Correct? This much we have now. Now if you see in quadrilateral P, A, Q, B, in P, A, B, Q. If you add all the triangles, all the angles, that should be 180 degree. So angle P is 90 degree, angle P plus angle A plus angle B plus angle Q is 360 degree. Correct? Sum of all angles of a quadrilateral. Angle P is 90 degree, angle A is 2x. 2x. Angle B is 2y and angle Q is also 90 degree. And this is equal to 360. But you solve this 2 into x plus y, this becomes 360 degree minus 90 plus 90, 180 degree. This is 180 degree. Or x plus y is equal to 90 degree. That is, we have got. Now, if x plus y is equal to 90 degree, we will take this angle, which is triangle A, B, O. We can very well say that this is also equal to 90 degree angle O. Let's do this. We say that in triangle AOB, angle A plus angle O plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. Correct? Sum of angles of a triangle. Angle A is x degree plus angle O is we have to find. Angle B is y degree is equal to 180 degree. Or angle O is equal to 180 degree minus x plus y degree and x plus y degree is 90 degree we know this so this is 180 degree minus and this is 90 degree see very simple since we know it's an angle problem angle thing we know that this is 1990 we just made it 90 and we try to find which are equal angles and thus we got the answer correct Let's take one more example. We have to prove that angle between two tangents drawn from external point to a circle is supplementary to the angle suspended by a line joining the point of contact at the center. So let's draw this. This is my external point P. From here I have drawn two tangents. So this will be A and this is B. So we have to prove that angle between two tangents, this is this angle, is supplementary to the angle subtended by 
line segment joining the point of contact at the center that is from this point if you if you draw this line the center so this is one angle so i have to prove that this is x this is y i have to prove that angle x plus angle y is equal to 180 degree that is what i have to prove correct from a point you draw two tangents then this angle plus the angle separated by a point of contact and the center this two point of contact and center you get an angle this two is 180 degree the first thing that comes to our mind is this is 90 and this is 90 why because p and pb are tangent so pa is perpendicular to p a is perpendicular to oa and pb is perpendicular to oa why because p and pb are tangent very simple for us now we have this quadrilateral paob so we can say that in quadrilateral paob angle p plus angle a plus angle o plus angle b is 360 degree so the angles of the quadrilateral correct so angle p plus angle a is 90 degree plus angle o which we don't know plus angle b is also 90 degree is equal to 360 degree or you can say that angle p plus angle o is equal to 360 degree minus 90 plus 90 180 degree and that is 180 degree so we can say that angle p plus angle o or we can say that x plus y is equal to 180 degree and that is what we are supposed to do hence we have proved that these two angles are supplementary correct thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again